The Knicks have another chance tonight to advance to the second round of the NBA playoffs. All right, only this time they won't have home court advantage. And as Fox 5's Jennifer Williams shows us, Philly's doing everything it can to keep New York fans from showing up to tonight's game. The atmosphere was electric. Brunson, wiggling, floating. He got it. Despite being played in Philly, it felt like MSG South for game four of the Knicks Sixers first round series. That's how close these two franchises are. They're literally only two hours apart, so you're going to hear so many Knicks fans. So to prevent that from happening again, the 76ers ownership group bought two thousand game six tickets. It's pretty fascinating. I, you don't really think of Philadelphia as a city that, you know, doesn't support its team. I think it speaks a little bit to the prices and just the overwhelming passion that Knicks fans have. Zach Braziller, who covered this story for the New York Post, adds there's also the MSG tax. Tickets are much cheaper pretty much anywhere but the Garden. So I spoke to a broker who said sections like one in the 100s at the Garden he sold for game five were, you know, basically $1,500. And similar seats in Philly are were around four to 450 Knicks super fan CP the franchise was at the game soaking in the Knicks 97 to 92 win. Our whole section seemed like there was a Knicks fan in, in every single row. So they were deep on that Sunday. Keep in mind, game four was a 1 p.m. start while game six tips off at 9 p.m. For New Yorkers who are getting off work, they can hop on the Amtrak or the Greyhound and, and head down the Turnpike and still get to the game on time.